Alrighty, welcome back to Computational Problem Solving with Rust, presented by Carpenter Tutoring. Uh, I'm actually going to jump right into starting to program. We're going to practice so that we can learn, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and show you some resources that you can use to actually run and program on your workstation, on your computer, uh, or in your web browser. You have a couple of different options. So the first option that you have is using the Rust Playground. This is a really, really neat free project which you can use straight in your web browser. You can use it in practically any web browser, even if you don't have access to a computer where you can install software. Um, it's very, very nice. It looks like this. You get this very simple point and click interface. You can type in some code uh, and you can click run to run it. And as you can see down at the bottom of the screen here, it actually runs your code and it shows you what the result is, which is really nice. And if you don't understand all the features and things you can do here yet, that's okay. We're going to learn a lot more about them later. Um, this does come with some limitations, reasons which you might not want to use it. Um, we're going to be writing a lot of programs where you actually type in input as if you were a user using a program to actually get work done. Um, and this doesn't actually let you do that. You're going to be restricted to things that you type in this window. Uh, we will also eventually be borrowing code um, that other programmers have written, and we're going to import those as modules into our program to make our job easier. Uh, and some of those modules may not be available inside of this interface, but it's a very nice free tool. It's an easy way to get started, uh, especially if you're just thinking through a problem and you want to try something out really quickly. It's always there. It's always available. What you will probably want to do is actually install Rust on your computer. You kind of sort of need a Rust compiler to compile and run Rust programs. Uh, this is the place to get it, rust-lang.org slash tools slash install. Um, they have wonderful instructions here. Uh, if you're on Mac or if you're on Windows, they've got everything that you could possibly need to, to learn how to install it and what to use. I'm not going to go through this setup. Um, there's lots of other YouTube videos that cover it very, very well. Um, but it's, it's very, very simple. You can follow the instructions here. You can look up another video for it. This is the one that I would recommend you use. It's going to give you tools that you can use, such as Rust C. That should get installed on your computer, and that will let you provide a program name so that you can actually compile it. And we're going to talk a little bit more about what that means later and how that works. But as long as you have that tool installed, as long as you can Rust C, um, and turn that into a little executable file here on Windows. It might be, you know, something.exe. Uh, then you're going to be good to go. That's the only tool that you're going to need for the foreseeable future. So go ahead and get that set up. If you don't have time to do that right now, you're not interested, you just want to try some things out, go ahead and use the playground. Just remember that not everything that we do might, might be available in here. You might have some limitations.